We've made a list of over 30 game-breaking mechanics that 90% of players don't even know about in Cataclysm PvP. For instance, what is the diminishing return timer in Cata? It's 18 seconds, right? Wrong! DRs are actually dynamic in Cataclysm and range from 15 to 20 seconds. What the f Because of some old code, diminishing returns are calculated in batches. Sometimes a CC breaks at the start of this batch, sometimes at the end, and anywhere in the middle. Add-ons can only approximate DRs and average them to 18 seconds, but there is no way of truly knowing where they are in the 15 to 20 second range. But this isn't the only thing weird about diminishing returns. Did you know that several spells do not share DRs with anything in the game? Cyclone, Mind Control, Dragon's Breath, and Scattershot do not share DRs with any other spells in the game. Yes, that's right, some of the most broken CC abilities are even more broken than you thought, but it gets weirder. Deep Freeze is a stun, but Ring of Frost is an incapacitate. But these abilities actually share the same DR, even though Dragon's Breath doesn't. Also, Fear is straight up broken. In the middle of original Kata, all Fear effects were buffed to break less often to damage, but unfortunately, this didn't scale well for Season 9, where everyone does less damage. Just watch here as this Fear sits its entire duration through Combustion and an entire row of Warlock Dots. Fear is basically a stun. Do you know what isn't on stun DR though? Impact. Because mages really needed that, right? Before we continue, the brand new skill capped UI is basically a cheat code for Cataclysm. That's right, the same add-on we developed for Dragonflight is available right now for Classic. And all you need to do is head over to our new Cata website at skillcap.com using the links below, where you can download our complete package. Instead of spending hours or even days figuring everything out, our UI is custom built to give you everything you need in just a matter of seconds. After installing the free profiles, you can type in slash SC and then click the drop down on the left to enter the import window to install extra profiles for Plater, Omnibar, and Omni CD. You can find your import code on our website by clicking on the add-ons tab and then generating the code to paste in game. And while you're there, you can get a preview of our new website that includes hundreds of guides designed to get you ahead fast. From damage, CC, defensives, and more, we've got everything covered so you don't miss out on rating gains. As always, everything is backed up by a rating gain guarantee. So to get the rating you truly deserve, head to the discount link in the video description. All right, back to the video. If you venture deep into the heart of STV, you're bound to encounter something strange. Monkeys. Ah, yes, those annoying hunter pets that stun you. But wait, why does the tooltip say it blinds the target? Monkey stun is weird. It is a magical disorient on the stun DR that breaks on damage? Somehow it acts like both a magical and physical spell at the same time. Rogues can cloak it, but shamans can't ground it. Warriors can intervene it, but paladins can't bop it. Monkeys are weird. Well, all hunter pets are kind of weird because good hunters will actually dismiss and resummon different pets throughout the game. In the past, they did this to reset Roar of Sacrifice and Monkey Blind, but thankfully this doesn't work anymore. Now hunters will dismiss and resummon different pets for their unique CC abilities, like a spider to root, birds to disarm, bears to piss off melee, and even spore bats to piss off casters. You're out here playing WoW Arena and hunters are playing Zoo Tycoon. Warlock pets are kind of weird too. If you play Druid, you can actually Cyclone the Fell Hunter to completely remove Soul Link from the Warlock. This works fine on paper, but keep in mind Fell Hunter can have over 500 spell resistance whenever a Shaman is in their group. And if there's one more pet you should care a little more about, it's actually the Water Elemental from Frost Mages. Their freeze ability is the most reliable way to set up Burst and CC, which they can't do once it's dead. Speaking of pets, DK Gargoyles are one of a few mechanics in the game that can benefit from snapshotting. Now, we've already explained this mechanic several times in this channel, and many people still don't know that the Gargoyle can snapshot the DK's buffs when it's pressed, which is why you'll typically see DKs use Unholy Frenzy, their on-use trinket, and any other procs to make sure their Garg hits as hard as humanly possible. Snapshotting is one of those things that seems simple on its surface, but can get confusing the further you deep dive. For instance, Warlocks can inhale their dots on one target and then Demon Soul before exhaling them on another. This new set of dots will be snapshotted. They can then go back and fell flame any previous target with UA and now those dots will be buffed even if they weren't applied with Demon Soul or any procs. If you play any class with hots or dots, snapshotting is one of the most important skills to master and one of the easiest to mess up. Maybe you know a thing or two about snapshotting, but did you know that there are some weird interactions between cooldowns in Kata? For instance, Feral Druids can't press Tiger's Fury while Berserk is active, 
But if Tiger's Fury is active, Feral Druids can use Berserk, creating a cooldown stack in the reverse direction. Some abilities even share cooldowns. Anytime a rogue uses Cloak, they can't use Combat Readiness and vice versa. These abilities share CD. Major Warrior cooldowns share cooldowns too. Well, kinda. Any of their 5 minute cooldowns, which include Recklessness, Shield Wall, or Retaliation, cannot be used at the same time. This means that warriors with Rec Up make really good swap targets, since not only can they not use Shield Wall, but it also means they are taking more damage, which can result in a kill or forcing them to cancel their strongest offensive cooldown. Warriors are also one of a few classes whose defensives can be shut down by Disarm, kind of. You see, Shield Wall requires a shield, obviously, but most Disarm effects only remove the main hand weapon. Dismantle is an exception, since it removes both the main hand and offhand weapon slots, and even ranged weapons, making it the best disarm in the game. But if you play Shadow Priest or Warrior, don't be sad because your disarm is actually better than you might think. Hunters can't launch their freezing traps with Trap Launcher while disarmed, giving you some counterplay to protect your healer. And whenever you're playing against rogues, disarm will completely prevent them from sapping off blind, which again could save your healer's trinket. And as a more offensive use of Disarm, it will actually prevent DKs from using Death Strike, good for snagging out a win once you burn through their 9 million defensives. If you've played Kata Arena at all so far, you probably experienced a jungle of Feral Druids, who are considered the best melee in the game. <clears throat> but not by everyone. Anyway, what makes Feral Druids so broken is their instant Cyclone, which is actually better than most people remember. Cyclone doesn't just have its own CCDR, but it can't even be removed by Bubble, Ice Block, or Mass Dispel like it can on Retail. Yes, the only way to get out of Cyclone is with your precious 2 minute PvP trinket. Quite good. Now, luckily, you hopefully know that Roots can actually be quite effective at shutting down those pesky Feral Druids. Outside of Dash and Stampeding Roar, Ferals have no way of breaking Roots. They'll typically use one of these abilities immediately as a Root Breaker, so once you burn through both, they are way more manageable. Ferals are also one of the few specs that can actually be soft countered by walls. Their two main generators, Ravage and Shred, both have positional requirements, only usable when behind enemy targets. Sub rogues have similar problems, with Ambush, Garrett, and Backstab all requiring their targets back. This is why you might sometimes see players put their backs against the wall against these specs, since it can make it harder to be attacked or opened on. Speaking of rogues, we're sure you know by now that Smoke Bomb is pretty damn good. I mean, one of the scariest abilities in the game that rogues can use twice has to be broken, especially since it can break other rogues and druids out of stealth, and against Resto Shamans it completely counters Spirit Link Totem. Or maybe it doesn't. You see, there's a very specific way shamans can prevent getting countered. As long as the totem spawns with the shaman outside of bomb, they can jump inside the smoke, and the totem will work pretty much as intended. This is a Hail Mary play that 99% of players don't even know is possible. And if you're still not convinced that shaman is the best healer in the game, just remember that they are able to use multiple abilities while silenced. Not only can every totem be used while silenced, including grounding and spirit link, but shamans can even use one of their core rotational heals, unleash elements while silenced. The healer shenanigans don't stop with Resto Shaman because Disc Priests also have their fair share of jank. The iconic Shadow Word Death, you know, the one you press on beat to Ultra Numb to outplay that incoming polymorph, is actually kinda buggy when it comes to shields. Sometimes priests can death CC with shields active, and other times it doesn't seem to work at all, and nobody seems to know how or why. Also, if you're a priest playing with a rogue, there's one niche interaction you need to be aware of. Rogues won't gain combat readiness stacks if a shield is active when they get melee hit. Not the biggest deal, but is something you can and maybe should play around from time to time. Before we wrap up, you really don't want to miss this opportunity to get a massive head start on the competition with our rating game guarantee. Our courses and arena commentaries have everything you need to help you reach your goals. Regardless of what class you decide to main, we've got you covered. And with a brand new UI package designed specifically for Cataclysm, our website is the number one stop for players wanting to climb. One subscription gets you access to all of our games, allowing you to stay ahead of the competition no matter what expansion you play. Get the rating you've always wanted by visiting the exclusive discount link below. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this one. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.